Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a music widget using Widgie. Widgie is my favourite widget app. It's got such a wide range of different things you can do. Um, so excellent work from the developers of this app. So yeah, we'll create our music widget. First we go up and press create. There's a range of different sizes, all the sizes that you usually get for iPad widgets. You can also follow this tutorial for the iPhone as well. So we'll rename it music. You can put your own name in the name column. So to start with, we've got a blank layer. We're gonna put a background. You can use an image if you wish, but for this, I'm gonna use a shape. So you can see the little dotted line resizing is really easy. Uh, you've got little tabs up here for the size differences and then the plus and minus boxes here for size and position. So just to get a big, large background, I'm going to just use the large size and max it out like this. So moving over, I'm going to change the background color. I know the theme I want to use. You can do uh, use a circle or different shapes in here, depending on what button you want or background, but I'm just going to go with square. Um, so yeah, I do know the theme I want, which is my normal theme. All the different color palettes are here. I'm going to use this color. I always save them to my custom tab and then you go over to this and that's where they go. Because if you have multiple ones uh, under this color, you can change everything in that color just with one uh, easy change. So now I'm going to add the album image. It's um, actually in widget as a preset. So we select image, go to this image here. There's a lot of list of different things you can have. For example, you can add your own file from your Photos app or files on the iPad or iPhone. Um, so yeah, as you can see, music's just there and it will automatically find the album and the, or the latest song that you're listening to. Again, we need to reposition this. So I'm really happy with that. Um, what I'm going to do is create a little shadow. So you've got, in fact, first I'm going to round the corners. So you can just press the buttons or press the settings button and type in the corners. 20 is usually a nice looking um, angle there. And then create a shadow. So again, I'm going to save this as a custom tab to my custom tab and always put my shadows as the same, same um, uh, color there. And then just add maybe a five shadow on the radius and the two offsets. And you'll see it'll look quite nice when we, we've done that. So next, I'm going to create the buttons. So the best way to start this, from my point of view, is to create a group. We're going to call the group Play. And in that group, we're going to add a new layer. That layer will be the button. So we're going to start with a shape and I'm going to just move this now. And just to show you what the different shapes look like, um, you can see they change um, when you select a different shape. I am just going to stick to a square with the rounded edges just because I like that's That's what I like. And now I'm going to choose the button color again. I um, know exactly which color I'm going to use uh, because that's my theme that I've been using for most of my widgets. So I'll add it to the custom tab and we will choose the blue. I'm now going to add a shadow. And that's my background done. So next, let's add the icon. So we'll go and we will add a new layer. Go over to symbol. So this is the play button. So let's move that. And as you can see there, the layers added behind the shape. So I'm just to move it in front. You can click on edit and slide it at the top above the other layer. Just gonna make it a little bit smaller. 
and get it in the middle. Right, so now what we're going to do is go up to this little club icon at the top here. And because play is a smart symbol, we're going to click smart symbols and scroll down to play. Pick the one we like. And I'm going to just add the shadow to that. And we want to make this button interactive, so we're going to add a new layer and a tap action. Again, we've just got to move it. I do like to have my buttons slightly overlapping, just so, in case I've got fat fingers. So that's my uh, outline of my button. So what I'm going to do now is put that over the top. So. Uh, I don't know if you have to do that, but I always do anyway, just force a habit now. And we're going to go to the little button at the top. And as you can see here, there's loads of different ones. But, um, and there's loads of open apps if you wanted them, third party apps and stuff like that. But we're going to run a shortcut. So to do this, you do have to have a shortcut set up. The shortcuts are really easy to make. Um, so go to your Siri shortcuts app. To create one, you press the little plus button at the top, but I've already got one here, as you can see. So it is just a play pause on iPad. So go to the search bar, type in music. Let's go down to the, mu the music tab and you'll see play pause. And you can just select um, on iPad or iDevice, whichever one you're doing it from. I always add go, um, go to home because otherwise it stays in the shortcut. And we need to copy the exact name of the shortcut and paste it here. And that will set up our first button. So a very easy way now to make the next couple of buttons. Let's add a new group and call it buttons. We're going to add the play button into that new buttons folder. And then we're going to duplicate the um, buttons twice and we're going to rename them next and back and as you can see we've got the exact same um, folder just completely duplicated so we need to go into our tap action we're going to go and this time add the uh, next track um, button or shortcut again it's the same kind of thing you've got to find skip forward on iPad copy the exact text and put that into our shortcut name and then we're going to select the whole folder uh, just so you can see and move it so it's in position slightly next to where we want it to be I just realized I got them the wrong way around so this is actually my next one the one I just did was the previous so I'm just going to add the next track uh, to this one and to do the previous track it's exactly the same but with previous track shortcut just to note um, we should have the skip to the beginning and then skip to the previous song just so it definitely goes back a full you're not starting the song again and add that to Widgie and we have our shortcut set up in place so now it's to change the symbols so this is uh, the best way of doing uh, back or forward or next is just type in either previous or back you'll get different results for different words so just make sure if you can't find it you try a different word each time i'm going to use this one and i'm going to do the same for the um, next track the search bar is in the top right just here and we're just going to type next so um, that didn't work so I'm going to type forward and uh, they all come up and we're going to select that and I really like the look of those so yeah we've got our button set up so now what you can do is select the whole uh, group new group and move them into position so I'm going to just do that now and now what I'm going to do is create a new group 
for our um, artist name and song title. So we'll rename that group as text and add a new layer and select text. So again, this is already a preset. So we'll go to this little square box here, press custom text and scroll to the bottom. There's loads of different options again. We'll go more into that into another tutorial. Select music and select the artist and now playing. Press back and we're going to change our text. So go to the text column, press the edit button on the text. We'll just pick this one. It does look quite cool actually. Um, then we're going to change the color of the text. So let's go um, on a, uh, let's go over to color. Again, I think I'm going to use this color here and add it to our stock and select. We're then going to change horizontal alignment to center so that sits in the middle. And I'll just um, add the shadow and move it. And the easiest thing to do to create the song title is to duplicate that, move it up just so it's above it slightly. And then we're going to go over to the little box here and we're going to change this from uh, artist to song now playing. You can see that's changed. It's very interactive, very good. So I'll change the color. I'm going to use um, a new color. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll probably just see what this purple looks like. I do like this purple and I use it for a lot, but I'm guessing it's going to be a bit dark. Yeah. So what I can do, just show you how to edit a color. Right click and edit. And then you can have a play around with the color you want. The bar on the left is the brightness or lightness. And the bar on the right is the opacity, but I'm going to keep that full. I think I'm going to go for a nice bright yellow um, for this one. So let's get it up here. Let's get it a bit brighter. If you go all the way to the top, it makes it white. So you don't want to go too far. Um, so yeah, we'll keep it there. And oh, I forgot to press the tick. So that's a lesson for you guys. Make sure you always press the tick at the top right before because it doesn't change otherwise. And there we have our color palette and our lovely looking widget. So now it's just a case of playing around. I'm going to add a couple of more tap actions. So I'll add the open app um, music app. You can use the app, uh, Apple apps, but I'm going to use a shortcut. I do have one called music and that literally just does uh, what it says and opens the music. So I'll show you that quickly. Again, this is just a simple uh, shortcut with open app music. So just um, then create that and I'm going to put that over the album artwork. So it makes it makes sense if you press the album artwork that takes you to Apple Music. And then I'm going to move that to just above the image and add a, another layer. And I'm going to add a refresh widget layer. So, or reload widget, sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to make that the whole size of the widget. And we're going to relocate that to the back. Because what that means is when you tap anywhere else where there isn't a shortcut, that will refresh the widget. And you'll see that in action in a minute when I load this up. So now it's just a case of playing around, get the sizes you want. You know, it did look a bit too uh, clogged up there. So I'm going to move that around a little bit, get this a bit bigger, try and fit it in nicely and just get it to, to my liking. And there we have our finished widget. So what we do now is we go back and we go to the main menu. And then we go, you can see it there on the left hand side, we go to manage, we're going to pick one of our widget slots, select it and then select the widget that we've just created. 
Go to our home screen. Let's get it on a new page here. You can see why I chose that color in a minute. Uh, it's going to blend in perfectly with the background. Type in Widgey. Select Widgey, and we're going to go over to the widget that we selected. So that will be uh, this one here, Medium Widget 1. And add that widget to our home screen. And there we have it. Beautiful. So as you can see, if you press play, it's fully interactive. You won't be able to hear the music, but if you press the back anywhere that doesn't have it, you can see how it refreshed. It's not perfect sometimes. In fact, not most of the time you need to refresh it. I'm just going to grab a music widget because it does show that it's playing. Um, so you see there it says now playing. And then if I press pause, um, it runs a shortcut and you can see that it's paused there. Um, so refreshing it again and then let's press next and you can see that it's changed the song again let's refresh it there used to be a uh, load run shortcut and refresh but it stopped working so I think they're probably still trying to fix that um, but yeah so there we have it our beautifully new created widget I hope this tutorial helped you and you can go on to create your own music widget there's a world of possibility and just enjoy, play around and leave a comment, like, subscribe, ring my bell, feed my ego, all that wonderful stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.